Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys the best Premier League starter team for under 20k on FIFA 22. Quickly before we do jump into it, if you guys are new around, be sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turn on so miss any more videos on the channel. Like I keep saying, if we hit 1k subs by the time one to watch our packs, I'll be giving three of you guys that are subscribed with notifications on 12k FIFA points. So make sure you do sub with notifications on, share it with your friends as well so they can do exactly the same. Smash big thumbs up if it does help you out. And let me know your thoughts on this team in the comments below. Who would you change out? Is there anyone else you think you would recommend putting in? Let me know in the comments, but I'm going to jump straight into it. Okay, guys, so we're going to start off in goal with Dean Henderson. Dean Henderson was one of the players that I managed to pack in one of my first packs. And I was just using him for a little bit whilst I was trying to get some coins up, trying to build my club up a little bit. And he was very, very reliable. He felt very good in goal. He saved quite a lot. And he actually, I, he surprised me how good he was. I didn't think the 80 rated non rare was going to be that good. He seemed to just stop so many things. I think he's six foot three. Uh, what are his player, tra player traits as well? He's got the long throw, which is great. Saves with feet, which is massive in this game. Made so many big saves with his feet. Rushes out of goal. You can get caught up as a little bit with that one and comes for crosses is massive because the amount of times the goalkeeper just beat the big players in the air from catching from crosses is absolutely insane and I really really like the fact that my big goalkeepers do do that and Dean Henderson is the goalkeeper we're going to go for in a right back guys we go for Max Aaron's place for Norris 75 rated and he's actually very very good he's got 81 pace which is quite nice he's got 70 defending 71 physical 75 dribbling so he can get up and down the wing nicely with his dribbling he's got good defensive stats so he can defend when he has to defend and he's got decent pace if you stick a shadow card on him if you happen to get an untradeable one or whatever if you put one on him He's going to have a 91 pace and 80 defending, 71 physical, which turns into a very, very nice Premier League uh, right back, which is very, very good. His traits are a speed dribbler. He just means he can get up and down the line very quickly whilst he's got the ball, which is great. It means you can get in some good positions, run down the line with him, put some balls into your strikers, and hopefully score some more goals that way. In terms of centre backs, guys, we're going to go for. I can't even remember how you say his name. I'm not even going to attempt it because I know I'm going to butcher it. But he's got a great card 76 pace, 80 defending, 80 physical. For an 80 rated who goes for literally 1,000 coins, is crazy. Such, such a good player. Got medium and medium work rates it means he just puts up pretty much just sits back in defense he doesn't you don't find he pushes forwards too much he just sits in that defensive role very nicely he holds it up well he just he just is that man there at six foot one he beats a lot of players in the air when the balls do come into the box hasn't got any traits so there's nothing we can compare there but as you can see his sprint speed's actually about 85 once you do get him into the squad on on 10 chem uh, he's defending obviously very very good as well joining him in at center back is going to be Davidson Sanchez and he is about 1.2k himself a very very good player once again again 75 pace 80 defending 80 uh, physical beast of a defender medium high so he's not going to be pushed forwards at all he's got that high defensive he's going to sit exactly where he should be the whole game which is massive in this game because I find high attacking uh, mid, high attacking work rate defenders seem to push forwards very a, a lot they seem to be out of position quite a lot in terms of player traits he's got dives into tackles and he wins all of these tackles he dives into it's absolutely insane again 85 sprint speed once he's on 10 chemistry great defensive stats good physical stats and he's just a, he's just a great starting defender for the Premier League and at left back guys is going to be Kieran Tierney with his high high work rates is absolutely insane his pace is great his dribbling is good his defending is good his passing is good his physical is good and he can even shoot if he has to so he's got the all round perfect left back card for a Premier League defender in a starter squad I think you guys are going to pick up Tierney I think you guys are going to love him I used him for a bit before I did sell my team on and then I'm packing him which is why he's got no games on his record but I've used him for a bit absolutely insane player I really really did enjoy him in terms of traits he's got the long throw in which is massive just ping him down the line he doesn't get injured very often and again he's got that speed dribble I mean you can run down the line with him him, put a good ball into your strikers and hopefully score some nice easy goals in terms of the right mid we're gonna go for dan james and this is because he's got really good pace that's pretty much one of the main reasons we're gonna chuck him in he's got good pace got great weak foot he's got high high work rates his stamina is good and all around he's just a very good starting player for a 77 rated obviously 95 pace just means he can bomb up and down that line very very quickly get into great positions he's got decent shooting stats decent passing uh decent dribbling and not too bad physical either so his player traits i mean he's got some decent player traits he's got the solid player which just feels very good in this game if i've ever, every time use a player with a solid player trait they just feel like they body everyone they feel like they get away with the ball in situations they probably shouldn't got good long shots which is massive in this game good finesse long shots are going to score you so many goals in this game and i think you guys are going to notice that soon and again speed dribble i mean you can up down that line nice and easily uh, as you can see he's got 83 stamina he doesn't burn out very quickly once he's on nine once he's on 10 chemistry his sprint speed actually goes up to 99 which is massive his acceleration is 96 as well uh, you can see all these stats there he's just, a, he's just a great starting player that i don't see a lot of people using in at midfield, guys, we have got Mwepu, who's actually a decent player. He's six foot, high, high work rates, 82 pace, 71 defending, 79 physical, 73 shooting, 71 passing, and 75 dribbling. All round, a very, very good midfielder. He's the boxer box midfielder that you want. Got that high, high work rate. He's six foot, so he's going to win a lot as well. And if he gets into boxes for crosses, he's going to score a lot of the headers that he does get. And when we take a look at his shots, he's got the long pass, which means he can put those balls over the top through to your strikers that are going to be running off. You can have that good long shot as well, which, as I kept saying a minute ago, is really, really good to have. 
have. And as you can see, all round, he's got pretty much green stats pretty much everywhere, which is great because... As an overall defender, as an overall box-to-box -box midfielder, he's a very, very good player. And we're going to pair him up with Onyenka, who, again, is a very good player. 87 pace, 74 defending, 81 physical, 72 dribbling, high, high, 6 foot again with 87 pace. Absolutely crazy. In terms of traits, he's a solid player, as you'd expect. He's an absolute unit in midfield. He's going to be your more defensive midfielder. He's going to sit back a little bit more, um, and you're going to have him set to stay back while attacking because he's, he's, that, he's that guy that's going to sit in. He's got them good defensive stats. He's going to catch up anyone that tries to get past him. they will body him off the ball. Again, you can see a here he's shooting and his passing isn't great that's why you want him sat back doing the defensive work his sprint speed's like 92 once he's on 10 cam uh he's got 90 stamina which means he can run all game long and he's just a great midfielder that i think a lot of people are gonna have in their starter squads in terms of the left mid we're gonna go for daniel poddens who is a four star four star high medium 90 pace 65 shooting 71 passing 85 dribbling and overall is a very very nice card again having that pace down the wing plus the four star skills and the four star weak fit is massive in terms of the traits once again he's got that flair as a four star player which is nice because you can do the better skill moves outside of the foot shot which is great because if you get into positions where you're trying to finesse it and he just doesn't outside the foot shot it just seems to bend a bit more in this game i don't know why and a technical dribbler technical dribbler trait is so good in this game because you can't touch the players that have this if you get in the box and stop sprinting and just keep the ball in your feet players can't touch you in the box it's insane how good this uh this trait is going to be within the game and there's his stats overall if you do want to take a quick look at them uh, his acceleration is great his stamina is good his dribbling is obviously very very good his passing is good and then a striker, guys. We're going to go for my striker, Mikhail Antonio. He's got the four-star skill moves, the three-star weak foot, 5'10", 83 pace, 76 shooting, 73 passing. Very, very good card overall. So I know his stats for me don't look great, but I just didn't leave him on the pitch for very long. He was just sort of in there to build up chemistry, so that's why his stats don't look that great. But in terms of traits, guys, he's got loads of traits. Injury prone isn't obviously a good one to have, but he's got flair, speed dribbler, power header, giant throw, and team player. Great frustrates to have on the players. As you can see, there are your stats. Green all across the board in terms of attacking, in terms of pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, and even physical. He's a beast up front. He's going to hold the ball up really well, get into great positions. He'll finish a lot of the one-on-one -on -one chances you do give him. If his acceleration was a bit better, he'd feel stupidly fast, but his acceleration does let him down just a little bit. I'm pairing him up, guys. We are going to go with Dakar. As you can see, Dakar, 93 pace, 78 shooting, 71 physical, 76 dribbling. His passing defending aren't great, but outside of that, he's absolutely a beast. He's got 98 uh, sprint speed once he's in-game on 10 chemistry you can see his shooting stats are very good he's got good finishing as you can see he's got good shooting he's got good dribbling his physical is not bad and his player traits are going to be speed dribbler again and you can pick up the ball run with him he's going to do the work and again another great player to up front six foot tall he's got really good pace you've got a big team here and here's a four over look at the score but playing a 4-4-2 it's a big team like it's a big big side there's some massive players in there but it's a very fast side it's a very pacey team and this is going to play very very well in guys in game for you guys if you don't know who any of the players are like i said just go back watch the bit that we did talk about them all and you're going to see the players that we are talking about hope you have enjoyed the video if you have smash big comes up let me know if you're going to use this in the comments below this team probably isn't even 20k i've probably titled it as 20k it's probably less than 20k so you guys can probably keep out for super super cheap if you have enjoyed it smash big comes up subscribe notification if you haven't already let me know what you change in the comments below and we'll catch you in the next one in a bit Peace.